Okay, you're being dispatched to a 60 year old male. Uh, family says that they were having dinner and then they started watching TV. Uh, grandpa passed out, can't revive him. Um, they're at home. Okay. I'm going to come on scene. I've got my BSI on. I'm, is my scene safe? It is. Okay. Do I have all my necessary resources with me? You do. Okay. So, do I see or hear anything that includes me to a traumatic arrest? No. Okay. Any obvious signs of a non resuscitable death? No. Okay. Coming up, the family's doing CPR. I'm going to have them stop doing CPR. Is the patient alert to my presence? No. Okay, patient sir, my name's Jason. I'm a paramedic. Can you hear me? No, patient is unconscious. Unconscious. Sternal rub. Does he respond to pain? No. Okay. So, I'm not worried about traumatic arrest. So we're going to do a head tilt chin lift. Is the airway patent? The airway is open, no obvious obstructions. Okay. Um, look, listen, feel for breathing. Is the patient breathing? No. Okay. So, we're going to insert an OPA. Does the patient accept this adjunct? Yes. Okay. I'm going to have my back valve mask with high flow O2. Do I have good compliance and chest rise? You do. Okay, I'm going to pass it off to my airway partner. I'm going to check for a carotid pulse. Do we have no a pulse? pulse? No pulse. Okay, so we're going to start CPR at compressions uh, 30 to 2 ventilations for 2 minutes 5 cycles. I'm going to expose the patient of their clothing and I'm going to start hooking them up to my monitor. Asking the family uh, for histories, allergies, and medications, what do I get? Uh, apparently, Grandpa's had a heart attack about three years ago. Um, the doctor has him on aspirin therapy. He is also an in insulin dependent diabetic. Okay. Um, they say he's taking Viagra. Uh, he's had a heart attack about three years ago, and they said that ever since then he's been living with AFib. Uh, he doesn't have any allergies. Okay. So, my monitor's hooked up right now. We're going to stop CPR. We're going to analyze, checking pulse leads monitor. No pulse. Okay, leads are good? Leads are good. Okay, I've got no pulse and I'm seeing VTAC. That's a shockable rhythm. We're going to remove CPR for a second. Take our paddles. We're going to gel our pads. We're going to charge the 360 joules. We're going to stop CPR and place the paddles. Sternum and apex, 25 PSI. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Shock administered. We're going to resume CPR and we're calling ALS, uh, calling medical control. We've got a 60-year-old male patient who is in cardiac arrest. We have VTAC without a pulse. We, we have administered one shock at this time. Permission to go ahead with ALS protocols. Go ahead according to your protocols. Okay, so I'm going to delegate uh, for my partners to get uh, two large four IVs at this time. And we're going to give Epi 1 to 10. Epi 1 to 10 is in the brown box. It's got 10 cc's, which has 1 milligram. We're going to push the full 1 milligram. 10 cc's. Okay, your IVs are established. IVs are established, okay. So I'm going to check my six patient rights. I've got the right patient, right drug, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. It's clear, it's not cloudy, it's not expired. I'm verifying that with my paramedic partner. We're going to wipe the port, we're going to pinch the line, we're going to poke the needle, push the drug. Sharps away, we're going to flush 20 cc bolts and raise the extremity for 6 to 10 seconds. Okay. Do I still have time in my 2 minutes 5 cycles or is that up? Uh, 2 minutes 5 cycles is up. Okay. We're going to stop CPR at this time and reanalyze our pulse leads monitor. No pulse. Leads are good? Leads are good. Okay, I'm going to monitor CV fib. Again, a shockable rhythm. I'm going to start CPR for a second and get my paddles ready. Gel on the pads, charging at 360 joules. I'm stopping CPR, placing sternum and apex, 25 psi. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Shock 360 joules administered. Resuming CPR, and we're going to check a blood sugar because the patient had a history of insulin dependent diabetes. What do we get on that? Blood sugar comes back at 22. 22, okay. I'm going to have another one of my paramedic partners um, get ready to administer 50% dextrose as well as our um, lidocaine, and I'm going to begin innovation so that we can secure the airway as well as have another route for drugs if necessary. My airway partner has oxygenated the patient on the higher to normal at 20, rate of 20 per minute. So we remove our OPA, head tilt chin lift, we've got our size 4 Mac blade, the light is white, bright and tight. We're placing that into the right, sweeping up and to the left to visualize the cords. We're going to use a size 7 tube for this innovation. We're going to visualize the black end of the innovation tube going through the vocal cords. And we're at 21 at the teeth. We're going to inflate our cuff, remove our stylet.
Do I have good chest rise and compliance? Yes, you do. Okay, I'm going to pass the bagging on to my partner while I listen for breast sounds. Epigastrum? No. Bottom left? Yes. Bottom right? Yes. Top left? Yes. Top right? Yes. Okay. We're still at 21 at the teeth. We're going to secure our tube with a Thomas ET tube holder, making sure not to let go of our tube until that's fully secured. Okay. Let's secure the tube. Is that secured? It is. Okay. I'm still at 21 at the teeth, and I'm going to reassess. Do I have epigastric? No. Bottom left? Yes. Bottom right? Yes. Top left? Yes. Top right? Yes. Okay, we're going to place the capnographer. We're looking for yellow is yes, yellow is good. Um, I visualized it going through the cords. We have mist in the tube and good lung sound. So those are my verifications. I passed my bagging back on to my partner. Has it been... Actually, now we're ready to push our, our lidocaine. How much does my patient weigh? Your patient weighs approximately 180 pounds. 180 pounds, so we're going to figure about 90 kilograms. Lidocaine comes in the pink reddish box. So we, we give one milligram to one and a half milligrams per kilogram. So we're going to push a full amp. It's going to be 100 milligrams of lidocaine, which is 5 cc's. So I verify my six patient rides. Are we good with those? Yes. Okay. Verify that with my partner. Wipe it, pinch it, poke it, push it, flush it, elevate it, and sharps away. And we're going to push our D50 that my partner's gotten ready as well. We're going to give full 25 grams of dextrose, which comes in 50 cc's. Same thing with our six patient rights. It's clear, not cloudy, not expired. Verified. Wipe it, pinch it, poke it, push it, flush it, elevate it, and sharps away. Has it been two minutes, five cycles? It has. Okay, we're going to stop CPR, analyze pulse leads and monitor. No pulse. Uh, how are my leads? Leads are good. Okay, I'm seeing asystole. So I want to verify in two leads. Both leads have asystole. I'm going back to lead two, and I'm resuming CPR. Has it been three to five minutes since my last epinephrine? No. It has not. Okay. So we're continuing CPR. We're getting our patient package for transport to the hospital, and we're considering the reasons that this patient is down right now. We're considering a hydrogen ion acidosis. Um, which could be treated with sodium bicarb. We're considering hypothermia, hypoglycemia, hypovolemia, hypoxia, and hypo and hyperkalemia. Also trauma, toxin, thrombosis, cardiac tamponade, and attention pneumothorax. Um, so if it hasn't been three to five minutes, and this is a long downtime, we give sodium bicarb. That's one mil equivalent per kilogram. So we're going to give 90 mil equivalents of sodium bicarb at this time. Sodium bicarb comes in the puke green brown on the box. Uh, each one is 50 cc's at 1 mil equivalent per kilogram and 1 mil equivalent per milliliter. So we're going to push a total of 90 milliliters, 90 mil equivalents. So we push a full amp of 1 after our 6 patient rights and verify with our partner. And then we're going to push 40 of our, our second one so we get a full 90. Has it been 2 minutes, 5 cycles? It has. Okay. We're going to stop CPR at this time. We're going to check our pulse. There's a pulse and it's weak. A weak pulse. I'm going to check my leads. Leads are good. Leads are good. Okay, I'm checking my monitor, analyzing my rhythm. I have normal sinus rhythm at a rate of 91. That is a pulse match monitor? Yes. Okay, so we're not going to resume compressions. Going back to our airway, is the patient still tolerating the tube? Uh, the patient begins to gag. The patient's gagging on the tube, okay. We don't want the patient to extubate themselves, so we'll go ahead and disconnect our stop bagging and disconnect our ET tube holder. And deflate our cuff and extubate the patient. Okay. And we could place our patient on a non rebreather mask at 15 liters of oxygen to maintain oxygenation. Okay, are we at the hospital at this time? Uh, yes. Okay.